serious? This looks like a good first step to reconciliation between the fan base and Microsoft. Now, the second one makes me wish they would really would detach the forced connect in there to take away the what is practically a surcharge. I'll be honest though, I don't believe this is happening. If it does, I'm all for it. And I'll also like to think of this video as a silent rebuttal toward those who thought that integrated DRM was not that bad, or that the audience reaction was just an exaggeration. Not not gonna name names, but hey, we can all talk about video games in a positive light again. So, you know, no more anger. Let's wash all that animosity away and just be... Let's all be friends again, everybody. Which reminds me, I'm still getting the PS4. I'm still gaming on PC. At this point, Microsoft may want to start trademarking a new console. Maybe call it the Xbox 180. Zing! For the record, I don't believe that they're going to go through with this entirely. They've built the console around the DRM functions. I don't, I don't think that they will have created this in such a way that they actually consider the audience backlash. Enough to take away wh about what was so bad, what was so wrong with this system at the flip of a switch. And if they can, it may make them look even worse for being able to do so as a luxury, knowing that they could just turn it back on later at any time they wanted. If Microsoft is on the full-on redemption path, then I have never been happier to be wrong. 